Okay, so yesterday morning I put out this video, right? And then shortly after that, this article came out that I had no idea about. So if you haven't watched this video, please go do. And for those of you who have, your mind's about to be just as blown as mine whenever I read this. This was like someone watched my video and then wrote this article and posted it. So did the uh, I'm just going to skip around. I have the best parts highlighted more or less. Please read this article. Did the Oscars just prove that we are living in a computer simulation? Last night's Oscar bizarreness was not just bizarre, but bizarre in a way that is typical of this entirely bizarre time. The rhythm of the yes they won, oh my god, no they didn't event with La La Land replaced by Moonlight as best picture was weirdly like that of election night. Exactly what I said in the video yesterday. The sudden confusion and visible near panic of people running around in the background of the stage with the same slightly horrified spirit that one felt on election night as shocking results began emerging from the exurban counties in Florida then yes, can this be happening? The revised and unexpected result. And this is where it gets kind of funny about Trump. This was a major malfunction. Trump cannot be president. People don't say grab him by the pussy and get elected president. Can't happen. In the same way, while there have been Oscar controversies before, tie votes and rejected trophies, never before has there been an occasion when the entirely wrong movie was given the award, the speech is delivered, and then another movie put in this place. That doesn't happen ever. Just like I said yesterday, it's all a mind fuck. Get over the bad language. And so both of these bizarre events put one in mind of a simple but arresting thesis, that we are living in the Matrix, and something has gone wrong with the controllers. The people or machines or, a, a, excuse me, or aliens who are supposed to be running our lives are having some kind of breakdown. There's a glitch, and we are in it. Once this insight is offered, and it must be said, everything else begins to fall order. Fall in order. The recent Super Bowl, for instance. The result, bizarre on the surface, with an unprecedented and impossible comeback, complete with razzle-dazzle catches and completely blown coverages and defensive breakdowns, makes no sense at all in the real world. Exactly what I also I said in the video yesterday. I mentioned the election. I mentioned the Super Bowl. There may be not merely a glitch in the Matrix. There may be a Loki, a prankster, suddenly running it. Now, who would be Loki? Hmm, hmm, who is that? Since there will be only one real universe and countless simulated ones, the odds that we are living in one of the simulations instead of the one actual reality are overwhelming. If intelligent life exists, then we are surely likely to be living in one of its matrices. Now everything has gone haywire and anything can happen. We can now expect nothing remotely normal to take place for a long time to come. They're fiddling with our knobs, mind-fucking us, and nobody knows the end. Shit's about to get really weird, like this can't be happening in a really real world kind of way, just like we've been warning about for a while now. This is it. I mean, anyone who's been watching my channel and watching my videos, you know, look, you know it, right here. Everything we've been talking about right here. Proven. Sorry. It's proven. 100% proven. Feeling pretty good right now. Take what you want. Look, any comment, any troll, you're not going to, there's nothing in the, in the, there's nothing you can do. There's not a, there's not a phrase. There's not a word. There's nothing you can do. Okay. See you later. Say what you want. I'm not telling you you can't say anything. I'm just telling you, you are not going to deter me. You are not going to, you're not going to confuse me. Nope. Sorry. I just had about the last four years of research all summed up into one very nice article that happened to say exactly everything I said the day before in a video. It ain't got nothing to do with ego. I couldn't give a shit because guess what? I'm not the one who, who came up with all this shit. I learned this stuff from watching a bunch of people. The truth has always been here. It's not something that I created or that I invented or that I alone found out. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This is just vindication for everybody who's been saying the same stuff that I've been saying for a long time. This place is fucked up and it ain't real. So thank you to my subscribers from the bottom of my heart.